Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about shades of meaning and I love shades of meaning. I have so much fun talking about this and I know that we've done it in class so you are familiar with it. But I want to read to you this um, example of what I have here for the meaning of shades of meaning. So it says some words can be similar in meaning like synonyms. We always went like this when we said synonyms. Similar, sim synonyms are similar. These words can have subtle or slight changes in meaning, and they help paint a mental picture of exactly what you want to say, okay? So when you think of shades of meaning, I almost want you to think of shades of paint, right? We have blue paint, but if you go to the paint store and you ask for blue, they're going to have shades of blue that are from dark, 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 all the way down to light, or shades that are light all the way up to dark. Okay, so just like paint colors, there's different shades. It's the same for words. So let's go ahead and look at your actual grammar page that you're doing today so that I can give you an example. I'm going to read this one more time, even though it's similar to what I just read, but it's good to hear it again. So many words have similar meanings, like synonyms, but the meanings can have differences. This is called shades of meaning, kind of like going like this, shades of meaning. Word meanings that are similar can be put in order from mild to strong, mild to strong, weaker to stronger. So for example, we have whisper, speak, shout, scream. All these words mean almost the same thing, but not quite. It's all the way that you're saying something, isn't it? But a whisper is mild. It's kind of a weaker form because when you whisper, you're really quiet. It's like someone's sleeping and you don't wanna wake them up. And a shout is a lot stronger right? And then if you have kind of speak, it's it's louder than a whisper, but not as loud as a shout. And then scream, that's even stronger than a shout. My mom might shout at me and I might kind of be like, uh oh, what did I do wrong? But if she screams at me, I am going to be a little bit more concerned, aren't I? So what you're going to do today and so let's put the words in order from mild to strong. Again, mild, another word for mild or synonym is a little bit weaker, okay? Some of you like your salsa mild and some of you like it strong and spicy. I'm on the more strong side. But we're going to start labeling mild as an A. And then if you're kind of in the middle with the word, it's a B. And then strong is a C. So let's look here. We have huge, gigantic, and big. What's the weakest or the most uh, the most mild word? Okay, well, if we look at all these, we know that they all have to do with size. They all have to do with something that's larger. Big, though, is probably like, okay, it's big, but are there words that are stronger than that? Let's see. Huge. Huge is definitely a more, I would think of something bigger. I would describe something huge should be bigger than just the word big. And then we've got gigantic, okay, which is the strongest. So you have damp, soaked, and wet. They all mean that you got some water on you, but would you rather be soaked or would you rather just be damp? So you need to go through those. Walk, jog, or race. Asleep, sleepy, or tired. And then um, underneath, you're going to write a word from the box to complete the series of related words. So to smile and giggle, those are synonyms. What do they mean? And what's the third word that would complete that? All right. So I think think that that should be a good explanation explanation for you. Um, but if you have questions, then just shoot me an email and we can go over it together.